What is Mesopotamia? By Ayan. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode one of Mesopotamia, the land between the two rivers. So, episode one covers what is Mesopotamia and how did people get there. It also covers the four main challenges that people faced so you can get a better understanding of who Mesopotamians are. This is Mesopotamia, also known as the land between the two rivers. The two rivers are the Tigris River and the Euphrates River, and over here you can see a few city-states that were in Mesopotamia. Also over here. It's nested firmly in the Fertile Crescent, which is highlighted in light red, which stretches from here to all the way here and then back. So this is Mesopotamia. Here is the main problem. The northern part is hilly and received rain, but didn't have enough space for crops. Because since it had such good weather and the farmers were growing the, uh, the same amount of crops every year, it was originally enough to sustain the population, but then it started growing exponentially because of the stable food supply and the farmers weren't able to use the same amount of crops to sustain that population so they only have one choice to move out one choice which is to move out the southern part is low plains and it also has flat land but very hot climate and the water overflows once every year but after that the land becomes like sun-baked rocks also, building resources were very hard to find because there were only a few reeds growing here and there by the river and nothing else. And there were also few natural protections against enemies, so that made it hard to live over there. The Mesopotamian people chose to live in the southern part, and this will be explained in the next slide. Why did the Mesopotamian people choose to live in the southern area? The Mesopotamian people chose to live in the southern area because there was not enough space on the hilly terrain in the northern area to suit the increasing amount of people in their city-states because of farming and a stable food supply, like I explained earlier, among other reasons. This will also be discussed later in the presentation. Looking at the challenges, there were four major challenges that the Mesopotamian people had to face. First thing first, food shortages in the hill. Second, an uncontrolled water supply in the plains. Di third, difficulties in building and maintaining systems that provided water across village boundaries. And last but not least, attacks by neighboring communities. Food shortages in the hills. This is an overview of the challenge. Some people in the Neolithic times began farming, and a particularly good area for farming were the Zagros Mountains, which was in northern Mesopotamia. Mild weather and plentiful rains made the foothills a good place to farm. Over several thousand years, because of good weather, the farmers could create a relatively stable food supply, which caused the amount of people in Mesopotamia to increase dramatically. Although the conditions on the mountain was great, there was not enough space to sustain the growing population of Mesopotamia, which was growing exponentially, so they only had one option, which was to move to southern Mesopotamia. Here was the solution to the food shortages in the hills. The Mesopotamian people decided to move out of the hills and onto the plains because of sheer, desperate, sheer desperation to get um, to be able to have more space for growing more food. Also, the plains held promise because it flooded once every year. Here is the next problem, 
and uncontrolled water supply. The farmers who moved to Sumer, which in other words is Mesopotamia, faced many challenges, but the main problem was uncontrolled water supply. The farmers could never be too sure about when the floods came, and if it came when after the farmers planted all of their seedlings, the floods would wash away and kill all the seedlings. Also, after the flooding, the soil would become rock hard and extremely dry, as seen here. The summer wind blew thick layers of dust across the ground because there were no plants or shrubs to hold the dust in place. Uncontrolled water supply solution. The solution was to build a complex irrigation system. Originally, the farmers just used levees to block the water from flooding the river, uh, from the river, and poke holes in it when they needed to so the water could flow onto the fields, but they made a more complex and a way better irrigation system. They dug holes and canals for the water to flow where they needed it to go, and they also made dams along the river to make it collect in pools they constructed so they could store the water for the future. Building and maintaining a complex irrigation system problem. Irrigation systems provided farmers with a lot of water to use to water their plants, therefore they could grow plenty of food. But with that, a new problem arose, which was maintaining the irrigation system. The irrigation system was now an important part of many villages farming, so it, so it passed through many villages and towns. Over time, the system became clogged with silt, and if that ever completely clogged, it would be extremely bad for the other villages because one disruption in the whole system stops the water from flowing to other places. Other places. Building and maintaining a complex irrigation system solution. Farmers had to ensure that their village and other villages downstream were able to get water. All the villages needed water, so the farmers worked together to maintain the irrigation system. They needed to scoop water from one canal to another to maintain the water level, and they needed to work together to dig out the silt that clogged the irrigation system. Each village depended and helped each other with the irrigation system because it was beneficial to all of them. As the Sumerians worked together, they were able to make their villages into towns. Sometimes villages went up to several thousand people because of Timur. Attacks by neighboring cities problem. As Mesopotamian cities grew, there were often disputes over rights to use more water since there was the irrigation system. Cities upriver blocked canals and or built more canals to prevent cities downriver from using the water. This often led to disputes. Sometimes the disputes were so intense that it led to bloodshed. Attacks by neighboring cities solution. Mesopotamian city-states quickly started making dis defenses. For example, they used mud to make mud bricks and baked it using the sun until it was hard as stone. They used their former enemy to their advantage. The Sumerians also dug large moats outside their walls so the enemy would have a hard time getting across. Most people lived in houses inside the walled city, but outside there were farms so in case of an emergency, the farmers would have to flee into the safety of the city walls. By about 3000 BCE, most Sumerians were enjoying the benefits of a protected and walled area. Here is the summary. There were three major big problems and one smaller but still major problem. So I have written the three down and then the one I will just say what it's about. So food shortages in the hills. A shortage of food forced people to move from the foothills of the Zagros Mountains to the plains between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, controlling the water supply on the plains. Farmers in Sumer faced times of uncontrolled flooding and drought. They built irrigation systems to create a water supply. 
Maintaining these complex systems required teamwork and cooperation among villages. This also caused the disputes which happened because um, some cities wanted more water and they blocked other cities from using water. So that led to disputes and they solved the disputes by, um, they protected themselves from the disputes by building walls and moats. From farming si villages to city-states, as villages grew into towns and cities, they became large city-states with walls and moats around them. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the next episode. Bye. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and clicking the subscribe button. Also, if you subscribe, remember to hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you. Bye.